Hi, everyone. Jordan Dreyer, the savvy millennial voice actress who bonds with humility. Today is five weeks and five days of the Omer. If you'd like to learn more about the Omer and how it works, you can click on the links in the description. Chabad.org, as usual, captures it better than I can. Sometimes I get confused when first thinking of the quality, but seeing how they write it out helps so much. Humility is crucial in healthy bonding. Arrogance divides people. Preoccupation with your own desires and needs separates you from others. Humility allows you to appreciate another person and bond with him. Bonding that is just an extension of your own needs is only bonding tighter with yourself. Healthy bonding is a union of two distinct people with independent personalities who join for a higher purpose than satisfying their own needs. This is probably the number one reason I have a hard time with marketing. I feel so slimy and wrong advocating for my own needs. I try to acknowledge that the other person has needs as well, like that I am indeed helping them by providing my voiceover services. Even networking events with other actors and directors and producers, I'm always trying to get to know the person as a person, trying to ask questions that are more about their background and dreams rather than the industry. People are always thrown off when I ask questions like that, so maybe it's a good thing. I'll be memorable. I'm genuinely confused by gold diggers. I guess there really are people who prefer the other to have a nice car, nice job, and all that rich stuff before they can love them. I simply don't understand how those tangible things can be your number one requirement in looking for a relationship. I'd rather have someone who listens, is kind, and doesn't yell in anger more intangible things. I'm looking for bonding, not looking to satisfy my physical needs. If it comes from money, then that'll be the cherry on top. So to be clear, do you just get to know people only because of what they can do for you? I know this needs to be a tactic in business to know the right people and all kinds of politics come into that, and maybe there is some good in that. Because at least sending flowers to their spouses and personalizing their names on things you sell makes it seem like you care. This is hard for me to reconcile, and so I just ask that somehow you let your clients know that you actually care, not that you're going through the hoops of precedent and looking good. Today's exercise is to acknowledge God, or some alternative force, for helping you bond with others. I think of the circumstances that arise, like when you want to go out with someone, they cancel, but then someone else calls you. If you want to say they're coincidences, go ahead. But I do take comfort thinking that a higher power is looking out for my best self. Thank you for watching. I hope I'm fulfilling your needs with my words, and you can fulfill some of mine by liking and sharing my videos. I'll see you tomorrow.